That's right. The sun rising over all those damn Peterbilts over there. <laughs> Yeah, we're at Rush. <laughs> There's a Volvo parked in the Peterbilt dealership. <laughs> oh my God, a Volvo parked in a Peterbilt dealership. Loving it, man. Look, look at, look at them all. Look at, look at them all sitting back there. Oh, oh my God. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Oh. Gonna go inside and meet Mr. Peterbilt Steve. Sit down with him and talk about a few things. Man, excited. Here we go. Alright you guys, we are standing out here at the dealership in front of all these beautiful trucks. I just had a chance to sit down with the man himself, Mr. Peter Bill Steve. He's, he's actually going back inside real quick to get some keys so we can look at a few things. But, oh man, look at that. Black, blue, and white sitting right next to each other. What are the odds? And, and these are our colors right here. Preferably the blue. Hopefully we can get the blue. Oh my God, look at this thing. Sick. That is sharp. Oh my goodness. I don't know if they're open or not. He said he's gonna get keys. I don't know which one he's gonna get keys to, but that is sick. Man, look at this. I'm like, this thing is taller than me. I don't know how I'm gonna lift this hood up. It's gonna be quite funny. It's gonna be quite funny to try to lift those, lift those hoods up. Oh my goodness. I feel like a kid in a candy store. Oh my goodness. I'm a little overwhelmed right now, I gotta tell you. And uh, it's a little crazy. Let's see if we can get in one of these things. So, hi, Steve. All right, check it out real quick. If you guys don't know who this is, this is the man, the myth, the legend over here. Sometimes. As, as Tim would say. This is Peter Bill Steve. If you haven't already done so, make sure you go check out the Facebook page, the YouTube, the Instagram. This guy puts together some awesome trucks, as you can see. We like some Peter Bills. Go check it out. Yeah. All right, we're going to hop in this thing real quick and see what's up. Oh yeah. Now that's a view right there. <laughs> that is a view. Now, which visor is this one? Just the 14 this, inch or 12 this inch? One. I think that's the 12, right? This is the 12. Yep. Yeah. Which the the red one across the red one and the one on the orange truck. Those are both 12s. Okay. Now we were talking about the visors, the lights on the visors. Now I'm looking, and I see that there's. The cab lights look a little more cleaner than lights on the visor. What do you think? They can. I, I think they look great either way. Um, stacking them 13 wide like that, that, that's been pretty popular lately. Yeah, that um, is pretty sharp. 
And that red one there, that's the box end style yeah, bumper you're telling me about? Yeah, that's the box end style bumper, yep. Okay. That's a 20 inch. And that's the, obviously the, uh, one of the biggest ones they make? That's what, uh, yeah, they did that. Well, they actually did a 22 and a 24. Um, How often do you see guys hitting curbs and driveways with these things though? With the 20s, not very often. Um, 24 uh, is a whole lot more, yeah, I can imagine. a lot more, yeah. Just like the silver truck over here. Yeah. That, that's a standard 18 inch Texas bumper. Standard, uh, okay. Yeah, we were talking earlier, you know, a difference between a regular Texas bumper and a, and a box end. That's the standard, that's the box end. Okay. So this is the uh, package with the navigation set up, obviously. Yep. Platinum interior, um, full looked, gauges, full switches. Got a keyless entry, which is yep. cool. Yep. Man, look at this thing. This one's got double bunk. This one is, yep. <clears throat> now, when you guys pipe in the APU, um, do the ape, does, does the air and the heat and stuff come into the stock vents? It does. Do they, they, tie, they tie it in. Okay. All right. Can we start this thing up? talking before about how to how to make a truck that has def and all that stuff loud with the loud exhaust and the, and everybody keeps telling me there's no way to do it even he said it but i gotta tell you stock with def listen to them turbos winding that sounds good oh yeah And look, guys, I can reach the pedals. I can reach the pedals. I don't need to buy pedal extensions. I can reach. Look. Everybody everybody was joking that I'm going to need a special seat right. and pedal extensions. And, like, is this seat all the way up right now? Let me see something here. Oh, it's all the way down. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm having a brain fart here. Oh, we're building up air. That's why. <laughs> all right, hold on. We'll be right back. All right, so check it out. Now that we're all aired up over here, this is with the seat all the way down. And this is my view. So it's not, I'm not as short as everybody thinks I am. So I'm going to lift the seat up here a little bit. Now I can't reach the pedals, though. Now I definitely can't reach the pedals. So I have to sit with the seat down and forward just a little bit. And I'm good. I'm good, people. Don't don't get it twisted. The little guy can handle a hood. Let's go check out the sleeper real quick. Yeah. Single bunk, or no, double bunk set up. Here's a question. Do these do these fold back or no? Not on the Atlas seats. They okay. will on the National or the Peterbilt seats. Uh, that's the only thing I would have to get used to is my chubby ass sliding in between these seats. With your new fitness program, Kevin. That's right. You'll, that's you'll right. Fine. The new year, everything set up will be good. But wow, there's a lot of... And this is without the cabinets. This is just a, a normal, uh, you know, shelf system. That's pretty cool. Plenty of room here. This is the uh, oh, business center. Business center, yeah, that's pretty neat. All right, here's a question: um, When you do the APU, does it come with a an inverter or? Uh, uh, the, the, when when we do our Thermo King APU package, uh, obviously it's the TK with the inverter and the S bar heater. Okay, so that's all included. All included. And then, are there outlets? Yep. Yeah, you'll, uh, whenever we install one, 
they'll typically put an outlet right there under under that pen. Okay. It's kind of their go-to. All right. But if you, 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 you can put all the input on it you want. We'll put it wherever you want it. That's just kind of the go-to. Okay. Okay. And then uh, obviously the tri-pack controller will be over right. here. Um, refrigerator. How do you open it? This way? Top left. Top left. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Very nice. It's got a little freezer too? Yep. Sweet. I like these. That way you don't have to worry about things falling out. That's pretty neat. Wow, that's a huge closet. That's pretty huge. I like the... Uh, uh, is this... um? Marine marine grade carpet or just regular carpet? Uh, I'd just say regular grade carpet. Okay. The, the ones the one up front looks like marine grade, so that way when it's it gets wet, it doesn't stain. It's actually the same. Yes. Uh, uh, something I don't talk about very often. That, there's a that's a good bit of storage under that bunk right there. Does it lift up? Well. Oh wow. Yeah. I was wrong. Oh, you just lift it up on it? Well, there is a lot of space. Now that there is the stock bunk heater, right? Well, no. Well, that's your that's your factory HVAC for. Oh, for the rear. Control. Okay. Yeah, that's your heat and air. That's your heat and air controls uh, for the sleeper. Okay. Um, your there is. With the premium sound, that's what it comes with right there. Oh, the little sub box, thing there? box with the with the speakers in it. Okay. Sweet. Sweet. Yeah, and as you can see, I'm standing up in here, and I can. There's plenty of room in here, so. What's the best way to do this? Just, just pull on it. What? I was able to do that with one swing. What? I thought that was going to be so hard. And here's what we were talking about earlier. I just wanted you to let you know. Oh, yeah, that's right. Air ride front suspension. Yeah, that's going to be a wow factor. Yeah, that's going to be cool. That way when we hit the, you know, we park and... That X15 is something else. Hey, look at this engine, man. That is something else. I can't believe how easy it was to lift that hood. Is it because of the springs or? It's just, just how it is. Let's see how easy it is to, to put back up. Oh, it's a little bit harder to put it back up. <laughs> I got the phone in my hand here. Ready? Yeah, it's a little bit harder to do one-handed. And it's got that easy going down spring action going. Maybe on a tour out back here somewhere. Where are we going, Steve? Yeah, we're going to show you the candy store. The candy store. I like candy. Had to go through like 10 doors and cut through a wall to get out here. This is the stuff of it. Everything oh, this is how everything comes in, bare. Well, yeah, this is, this is where we've got them lined up. Oh, my God, look at this. Holy cow. They're two rows deep over there. Oh, my goodness. So there's plenty of trucks here. Yeah, I've got trucks. Wow. Now, that green one, she's getting outfitted pretty uh, nicely, it looks like. Yeah. Um, they're doing something to the horn covers. I don't know if they're painting them and uh, waiting on the body to. Nice. Wow. This thing is usually door handle to door handle. Looks like you get it. Horn or not? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the paint match tanks always looks nice. Yeah, we might do that. I'm not sure. Yeah. We'll have to see. But can't go wrong with all the polished out. Well, yeah, it's just it's like with the white. Oh, yeah, with the white truck all day long. The 
Well, navy blue looks nice. Yeah, it's a good thing. It's wild. I think this is the blue. That's not legendary blue, no, but no, it's this, uh, that one over there kind of looks like legendary blue. That's Viper blue now. It's not a bad looking blue though. That might be Mahalo blue. I like There's that so, blue. So many. I like that blue. And that's that. That's the box. That's the one. twenty inch box. Yeah, that's what we're gonna have to do. Yeah, and then there's a better look at it. Uh, uh, that's a standard bumper, and then one step further over there, that's the uh, American Eagle. Well, that one doesn't that's look too bad. The curved edge. Yeah. <clears throat> if, you, if you ever do the custom fenders, the, the lip comes out and, and meets this perfectly. And okay. Yeah. And do you guys do the custom fenders? Do it all. Okay. Piece by piece, it'll come together. Then. Oh, hey. There's those there's a horn covers. Oh yeah. That's different. That'll be cool. Oh yeah. So this is where all the magic happens. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right, you guys. We left the dealership over there in Tulsa. Got to see a lot of really cool stuff and go over a lot of cool options um, that we're going to uh, hopefully be able to put on the truck and uh, now we're pulling into the caves here in Carthage, Missouri on a load going to Gas City, Indiana to the Walmart DC up there for a drop and hook we got to get loaded here first real quick but yeah, uh, I'm going to get this thing backed in into a door, and then uh, we'll talk more about the truck situation here in just a few seconds. But yeah, we're in the caves. We're in the caves in Carthage. Just got done getting loaded up in the caves. Now we're going to be heading towards Gas City, Indiana. I think we're going to stop at the uh, TA Exit 46. Supposedly, they got a pretty a pretty good vape shop in there. And uh, I'm thinking we're going to have to check that out. So, yeah. So, let's go. We stopped over here at Exit 46 at the TA that's supposed to have a vapor shop. That one tiny little um, display case with uh, mods and some juice and tanks and stuff like that, but everything was ridiculously overpriced, and everything that they had was like, you know, uh, the juice was like local stuff, you know, which most of the times isn't bad, but. You know, sometimes you got to stick with what you know when it comes to juice because you don't know how somebody made it, you know? So, yeah. So, uh, it's been a long day. It's uh, 5.30 p.m. And I'm at the Flying J in Sullivan? Sullivan, Missouri about 50 miles or so from St. Louis and this load is going to uh, what's vibrating yeah there we go this load's going to Gas City, Indiana and from there we're going to the house for Christmas and New Year's but yeah man we went to the dealership this morning and it was like uh and it was like Oh, uh, but you know, we're not there yet. We are not there yet. We, we are this close, guys. The only thing I can tell you to do if you want to help out is go and download the, uh, the Trucker District app 
and uh, start using it, play with it, enjoy it, because um, if everything keeps going the way it's going that we uh, have worked so hard for over the last three years, then in the next couple of weeks, things are going to get very interesting for everybody, for me, for you guys, because uh, the stuff that we have that we're going to bring to the table within the app is going to be huge. Um, it's going to be huge. And um, I encourage all of you to get involved in it. And uh, but yeah, go and download the Trucker District app. It's on Google Play and the Apple Store. And um, send me a friend request on there. I'm the little guy on Trucker District. Go figure. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Keep rooting for me. And uh, stay tuned. Stay tuned. As soon as I know, you'll know. Yes. Yes. All right, we're out of here. Make sure you hit the like button on the way out. Um, leave a comment below. And um, check out the links in the description box. I've got my order of hats and t-shirts coming in. So if anybody is 3X, 4X, 5X and needs a t-shirt, uh, hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, um, or, uh, you know, uh, and like I said, I've also got the other sizes too, large, extra large, and 2X. And the hats are coming in. The hats are going to be looking, the hats are going to look just like this, same color. I did black for the first round with the little guy logo on it message me on Instagram or Facebook for availability and uh, pricing and all that other good stuff. We're going to be doing payments through PayPal. Um, so yeah, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Talk to you guys later.